Season two of Snowflake Mountain needs to happen in Colombia. Look, there's this Netflix show, if you've not seen it, called Snowflake Mountain, where they take these 20 something year olds who have yet to move out of their houses, start their own life, their own career, and really live up to their full potential. And it, it tricks them and makes them think that they're gonna be like in a yacht or some like lavish vacation reality show, but instead throws them into a wilderness survival camp where they have to do all these challenges including like hiking a mountain um, and lots of other things to prove that they are going to be adults. Whitney and I love this because all those challenges that they do are things that we would do for fun. We would literally like skin an, an entire deer from head to toe and go grill the thing. And we'd go take a crap in a bucket um, because that's just something that sounds awesome to us. And we would also go climb mountains willingly, which we do. And if you don't watch our channel that much um, or watch all the videos, we've posted quite a few hiking videos, but there is a hike that we did this past May in Cali, near Cali, Colombia in the town called Ponce. And it was intense. It was so intense that I started to look up the details of the mountain that they climbed inside uh, the TV show Snowflake Mountain. And it's very comparable in terms of like the elevation in that particular area. And I'm like, you know what, man? Like, it'd be awesome if Netflix did a snowflake mountain in Colombia because they have so many mountain options. I mean, just look, look at the stats here. The mountain that we climbed called Pico Loro, it, was, it took us um, six hours of moving time and we took a break of about an hour at the top of the mountain. So literally moving six hours of, of the time. It was 4,000 feet, 4,239 feet in elevation, and the length was 7.33 miles, uh, and it was tough, y'all. This is one of the toughest hikes that I've done, and I still want to do more. And in fact, when we got to the top, like there was, um, you could see the next range of mountains that were literally twice as high as the peak that we just climbed. And in fact, I'm looking for people to tell me how to hike Pico Ponce because I really want to go up there and it is like double the distance and double the elevation. But this whole mountain range and mountain ranges like this across Colombia exist and um, are awesome. You typically have to get a guide for this and our guide costs about 55,000 pesos, um, which is close to like, I think 10, $15 uh, in US dollars with the current conversion. Um, we did tip the, the uh, guide very well, so make sure you do that if you do these. Um, be generous, especially if you're coming from countries where you have a higher, stronger currency. Um, it's just courteous. But yeah, if you compare Pico Loro to many of the mountains that exist in the Lake District area in England, those mountains only go up in terms of hiking to 3,395 feet in elevation. And you gotta realize that the hike that they did with these beginner hikers, um, beginner hikers, they did, they've never hiked a mountain ever. Um, they actually did it in two days. And we're talking about we did this thing in one day. Um, so yeah, it was awesome. So in this video, I just put together all the footage I took of Pico Lordo. And I only got about 15 minutes of footage in the seven hours that we spent there when we got to the top. Unfortunately, clouds had rolled in, so we barely got some views, but the views are supposed to be spectacular. But that only means one thing, that we will be back in Cali to go to Ponce to do this hike again. Um, and hopefully we go during a season that is less cloudy. But I hope you guys enjoy and see what it has to offer. It's an amazing experience, especially if you love hiking. Enjoy. All right, guys, we're going to Pico de Loro, and um, this is the earliest we've had to wake up for a hike. We've had to wake up at four o'clock in the morning. I'm already making mistakes. I dropped, I broke, I broke one of these guys because I just like hit it when I was making coffee in the morning and had to clean up a mess first thing. And um, we're rushing, we're rushing right now. And, uh, just gotta get to our friend's house at five o'clock and then he's gonna drive. We're gonna drive there and we're gonna do this freaking hike. Cheers. There's Wendy, she's getting the Uber. We're hoping that there's Ubers. I just needed proof that it's like five in the morning. Ah. See, it's still dark outside. I'm trying to make it to this place. Here, we're getting in the car. Here we go. Let's do it. 
made it to the trailhead. Find out if we survive, y'all. That's the peak that we're making it to. Here we go. Looks like we made it to the official trailhead here. So there it is. Uh, just about seven o'clock in the morning. So it's time to check this out. Pico de la. Our guide is shorter than Whitney, but I'm pretty tall, so my hair keeps nagging on all the leaves and everything. Almost every single hike that I do, I end up escaping the group. I think that's just because I think I have a little bit more excitement than people, so it kind of elevates my energy. So I just go faster. And man, this this particular trail has a lot of spider webs. That's the negative part about being first. You get to destroy all the spider webs. So I'm doing it for the team, I'm making a sacrifice. taking a break because there's like a creek the trail just goes right into a creek and then there's no other distinct trail so I'm kind of like where do I go look at this the trail just goes right into the creek you think that's a, a part of it but it's not it just goes that way it's getting pretty steep very steep that drop got five feet right there Push. How do you feel? Yes. If you look up, it's amazing.
these two friends are helping each other take pictures. It's pretty cute. We've been hiking for three and a half hours and um, we made it and there's no view, as you can see. The views up here are supposed to be spectacular, but uh, nah, not the day, nah. The hike was pretty good though. The hike was really challenging. There are bugs everywhere, they're all over my phone right now as <laughs> I'm recording. They're everywhere, all over you. <laughs> The sun started coming out, I have to put my hat on because like the heat is so intense um, it, with the clouds. What's nice is that it was nice and fresh, but now that we have the heat coming out, all the bugs are coming out. Look how many butterflies there are. Look at all these butterflies. Just flying around everywhere. about Colombia you can see mountains everywhere and a building in your way <laughs> but lots of mountains there's Pico Loro the one that's like whoop, whoop. that's the one we hiked the last weekend it was pretty intense <laughs> 